Hello Libra, so this will be a general reading for the sign of Libra. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Do not try to force this message to fit. With that being said, let's see what messages come out for <clears throat> the sign of Libra. Spirit, love, and light. Wow. Okay, so you got, it's just shooting out. I don't know which way this is coming. What messages to you? So your overall energy is the Five of Cups. I'm getting your message uh, for your overall energy. The message that Spirit is trying to get across to you is, I mean, it's the, because the Five of Cups is the crying over spilled milk. So this is getting over crying over spilled milk. So you're being encouraged to release this, to realize that you have opportunities waiting for you. Um, and to let this situation go. If this is something you've been debating about, because I'm saying that you guys, this is a situation that has wounded you before. You guys have been given this situation all that you have. And it's like, this is just like the final straw. It's like, you're at the point where it's like, this is, it, it either is gonna get better or it's like, you're done with it at this point. And I'm saying that you're being encouraged to let this go because there's something better in store for you. Um, it, it's like be mindful of the company that you keep because whatever you're entertaining, they're not here to celebrate you. They're not here to uplift you. They're not here for your best interest. And this is a situation that ultimately it's like you're at fault for keeping yourself like stuck in this situation. Because you have other opportunities coming in for you that you will miss if you keep yourself stuck in this situation. <clears throat> because the I'm getting this like, if this is a person, this person missed their opportunity. And the thing is, is that you guys are waiting for somebody. It's, it's like you're waiting for this person to come back and to like rescue you to like seize the moment and like rescue you and it's it's like that's what you're waiting for but it's like you have to realize that that's not who this person is and that there's something better for you in store it's like you're keeping yourself trapped in this um illusion of who you want this person to be instead of realizing who they truly are and they're not someone that has your best interests at heart Yeah, because I'm saying this, like, you're, it, it's going to become very clear to you soon. Yeah. Because right now, it's like, you guys, um, it's miscommunication. Either you're not even getting any communication from this person, but you're not... Uh, you're not seeing it clearly. It's like in your mind, it's, it's like it's a mental fog. It's like you're not thinking straight when it comes to this. Yeah, because when you're thinking of this person, it's like you're thinking of all these good things like this relationship turning into something. It's, it's like you're waiting for this person to turn into this hero that saves the day, that saves you from all your stress, your anxiety that's surrounding you. 
And the thing is, is that you're actually, if you keep on, uh, you keep yourself stuck in that situation, waiting for this person to come back and turn into something that they are not, instead of realizing the person that they actually are, you're going to end up missing the opportunities that are coming in for you. <clears throat> What does Libra? What does Libra have for to look? What does Libra have to look forward to in love outside of this person? Like once releasing this person and healing and moving forward. What messages do you have for Libra? <clears throat> Some of you guys, you've been wondering like if this person's been um, entertaining other people as well. What messages do you have for Libra? This is how this came out. I'm getting that like right now is you guys aren't really focused. After healing from this relationship, you guys won't be focused on dating. It's like you're gonna pour yourself into work. Some of you guys have children and it's like that's you're gonna like that's your priority. Um and you felt like some of you guys felt like this kind of took away your energy and stuff. So it's like you're trying to get yourself back together. Um, it's like you're trying to balance out your family life. Um, and on top of that, if it's if you don't have children, you're just trying to get back to this fun energy that you had before this person came into your life. Um, but dating, it's, it's, you're not really excited. And that's why you guys have actually been holding on to this relationship because... You guys don't really like to get out there and date. It's, it's like it makes you kind of like anxious. You don't really care for that. But I'm getting for some of you guys, you actually will meet someone in your workplace. Someone in like the work environment. There's someone that's going to end up coming towards you. Someone that's had their eye on you. This is someone that's going to be like, someone that's going to lighten your spirits up. And it's like, at first, you're you're not going to realize, like, this connection. And then it's going to click to you. But it's not going to be instant because you're distracted by all the other chaos that you have going on. So, this is... Let's see. Let me get one more <clears throat> before I close this out. I'm also getting some of you guys, uh, the new person that you meet, if you guys have children, they have children too. You guys bringing your children together. It's like I'm forming this family and it's like it's just an amazing bond between the two of you. But it's definitely, it's like having the support that you need finally coming in for you. Because some of you guys, that's what you've been seeking. It's just support. Somebody that supports you, that stability. It's like, that's what you're seeking. And that's what you're going to get out of this person coming in. If you stop waiting for this past person to come back and save you. Someone, it, it's, I'm definitely getting 
this is someone that's making a decision. Like they, they've been watching you for some time now. And this person is making a decision. Someone in your work environment. This isn't someone that you're dating right now. You don't, you don't see this. It's like, you don't see this yet. You've been overlooking this person. It's like you've been overlooking this connection. But when you're with this person, it's this innocent, this fun. Like when you guys are with each other, it's like they light in your spirit. You guys like have this. It's like this chemistry between the two of you where it's like. Look and poverty popped out in reverse. Yeah, this person isn't, this person, first of all, they know what they want. They know exactly what they want. And they're not the type of person that's going to take away from you spiritually, energetically, financially. This is the type of person that is going to give to you, uplift your spirits. And it's actually, it's like you guys are maturing from all that's going on in your life, period. But it's like on top of it, it's like this connection with this person. It's like you guys, because I'm saying like this is leading to like a mature relationship. And when I'm getting like mature, like marriage, the it's like having realistic, practical expectations. And it's leading you to what you want. Because you're no longer in this fantasy, this delusion. It's like you actually have like a practical, logical sense now about what you want, what you deserve. And this person, it's like you're going to realize it's like they're about to open your world to like an entire new experience when it comes to love. So, but you guys don't see this yet. <clears throat> you don't see it. Cause you're not, it's, it's like right now your mind is kind of like clouded with all this other stuff going on in your life. So this is what I have for you. Not what I have for you. Let me, I don't like to take, it's not my credit. I don't like to, this is the messages that came through for you guys. Um, I appreciate the love and support. If this reading resonates, leave a message, like, share, and subscribe. And I, like, again, I definitely appreciate all the love and support. Thank you.